So, would you like to get started by withdrawing the USDT FIFA from Binance into your banking account in the 2024? So this process is handy for crypto traders and investors looking to cash out the holdings. So let's go through the steps to make this process as smooth as possible. All right, so the very first thing I want to do is to log into my Binance account. So first, if you don't have an account, I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so we can be focusing into what matters the most, which is withdrawing our money. But assuming you wanted to withdraw money, I believe that you already have an actual account. So let's get started by focusing into the upper side and navigating into the wallet. Focus into the right top corner and you can see this actual icon of a wallet. So focus into the actual that says spot or go directly into the overview. So once you are directly into the top menu and then fiat on a spot, you might be seeing here that we have our actual currencies. So focused into the token you want to withdraw. So before you can withdraw to a bank account, you might need to convert to USD to your local fiat currency as not all banks accept direct USDT deposits. So to do this, focus into your USDT stuff and focus into the option that says convert. So choose USDT in front field of your local currency into the two field and enter the amount of USDT you wanted to get started with. Let's say for example that I send only one USDT and I select the currency that I wanted to change this for. So while well, that could be from dollars, for that could be for heroes, for that could be for packs or whatever. So choose the one best suits for your actual stuff and hit now into convert. Now after the conversion, you can go back to the wallet and click into the withdrawal. So if I focus into the upper side, even what I can do is to choose all the spots that I wanted to send it, select them and go for the option that says withdrawal. Once I choose the option that says withdraw, you can see that we have the actual withdraw crypto. But here what I wanted to do is to choose the option that says withdraw fiat. Because you wanted to convert the cryptos into real money, real cash that we can have directly into our store. What I wanted to do is now to choose the currency of the of the theta token you converted. In this case, I converted from USD. So I choose USD. And here's the currency, it should be appearing. In my case, of course, the only stuff that I have available are all of this. So I can choose Mexican peso, Argentine peso, Ukrainian, Philippine, and whatever. So choose the one that best suits for you and go for bank transfer instant payment and hit now into continue. Now it's gonna be asking you, how would you like to receive your currency? In this case, I choose USD, MXN, or wherever, depending on the country you're currently living, and the deposit with, for example, a bank transfer or payment with cash. So the payment with cash, it's not commonly available for a lot of countries, depending on where you're actually currently living. It might be, let's say you can withdraw from different local services, but in this case, I focus into a bank transfer. Now there's no fee, of course, and there's an instant payment. This is the part now what you wanted to add your banking account details and of course choose the amount you wanted to receive. So let's say for example, this is the amount I wanted to receive and here I choose the account number and I go for add account. Now it's gonna be really important guys to ensure that the banking account you provide is under your name or your order will fail. So exactly the same number that appears into my Binance account, it should be exactly the same that I have directly into my banking name. So choose the banking that you actually currently have. Choose your document type, your document number, your first, your last name, and your second last name if this one is applied for you. After you choose all those elements, accept to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy and hit now into continue. So lastly, you have the payment method, the fee, how you should be having your receiving of your money, and lastly, confirming the actual withdrawal. So review all the details, your withdrawal request, you might need to complete security verification such as the 2FA for example. Once everything is checked out, confirm now the withdrawal. Now, which routes from Binance to a banking account can take some time, guys. So, you don't have to be this court here depending on the banking process and times and Binance which route schedule. So, keep an eye on your email for any confirmation messages or updates from Binance. So, they can be helping us 24-7 in a very easy way. So, usually this won't take you more than 10 minutes just in case you have any question with Binance, guys. And that is actually it, guys. That is how you can withdraw 
any token from Binance to your banking account. So while the process involves a few steps, particularly converting USDT to fiat, it is straightforward once you get hang of it. So guys, with that being said, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others. For more tutorials like this, keep watching online media. Until next time, happy trading.